Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to How to Program HTML Pages. Oops, web pages in HTML. My bad. Part 2 Images and Fonts. So, yeah, let's get moving. We're going to learn images and fonts today. Two different tags, and maybe something else at the end if I have the time. So, we're going to go into our website folder that we made last part. We're going to click on our index. And if you haven't cleaned it out, clean it out. Because, uh, and if you don't have a file, just make it again, you know, how we did it last time. And we're going to begin with, well, first we're going to have to get our image. So, uh, the image we want. I accidentally deleted mine, so uh, let's restore it. <laughs> anyway, basically, you want to get your image. It can be of whatever. Mine's just going to be this, the banner that we began with. And I've made it 800 by 400 because that's a pretty cool size for a banner. Trendy. Trendy. I've also saved it as .png. Now, you can save things as .png or .jpg. But be warned, if you save it as JPEG and you don't put the quality pretty high, you're going to lose some clarity in your picture. So it's always, if it's something you want to look exact, then always save it as PNG. Now, we're going to move this into our website folder, making sure that it's in the same folder as our index, at least for just now, because we could we could have a folder with images, but we're, we'll go over that later. And um, making sure you know what the name is, you know exactly what the name is, and you know the extension. Now, let's begin coding. So, we're going to do the same as last time, HTM HTML. <laughs> close the HTML and then we're gonna do body and we'll close the body I can't remember if I said that we'd do anything last lesson but uh, if I did then that will come later on <laughs> um, okay now we're gonna wanna bring in our image so first thing you're gonna type is a new tag <laughs> IMG and that is a beautiful tag right there. Anyway, uh, now you need to enter in the properties. Now you need to enter in the address of the image. So since it's right in the folder that we've got the index with, we don't really need anything like folder names or anything. We can just enter in the, em the name of the image. So first you type in src equals and then parentheses. Now this is this is the where you enter in the location. This is what tells the browser where the image is. So we go to image whoops dot png or whatever your image is called. And we just close off that tag and there we go, we should have that. So let's add some text just so it's not on its own. I'm gonna add two line breaks just so the text is not next to the image and it's actually under the image. And P just like before and hey guy, guys, <laughs> this is a website. Okay, save that. So check that out. See what it's about. See, see what it's about. Okay. And there we have it: our image and our website. Te our website, our text, and it's in the same place. Yay! We're making progress. Awesome. So, next on the list of things to do is fonts. So, let's begin and learn the font tag. So, for the font tag, it's quite simply font. Close that off for now. And open one. Font. And now we're going to have to enter in some parameters into the font tag. So, first we're going to start off with face. Now, face is just the name of your font. So let's let's find a font we like. Let's go with we'll go with system. So type in system. Make sure you get this name right, otherwise it just won't work. And also you have to remember that your computer might have more fonts than other people's computer, in which case you should really use a common font which appears on all Windows systems or all Linux or all Mac, depending on who you're aiming it at, and just make sure they have the font. And then we're going to add another parameter, which is size. Now, size 
it, it goes from one to nine, I believe, as the size limits. It doesn't work like normal sizes. Like, you know how you get, like, 48 and 72 in normal font sizes? Well, that's usually, like, a pixel, how many pixels high it is. This, it's just kind of random. I, I'm not sure why they did it like this, to be honest. You, I would hope they'd update it at some point. But anyway, we're going to make the size, actually, we're going to make the size 6. Because 3 is normal size. So, there we go. And I'm also going to add in, this is normal size. And then we're going to put another font tag around here, just to show that you can, in fact, put them within each other. So, font size equals, whoops, goodness me, uh, there we go. <laughs> Close that, and this pro any perimeter that you don't change will stay. So the faces system that will stay throughout the whole thing by default because we didn't change it in here. If we change the face again in font, then obviously it would change for this. You'll see what I mean in a second. But uh, let's refresh. There we go. We got some text, and this is normal size. Yay! Awesome. So we've got those two things done. Um, how much time we got? We got a little bit of time. A little bit of time indeed. So we're going to do some alignment. Basically we're going to do one alignment today. And this is a really simple one which it, you don't need any extra stuff. This is just one single tag. Whereas aligning things in different ways like if you want to align to the left or want to align to the right you have to actually type in a different tag. But anyway just for now, I'm going to center everything. So, we're going to put center, which is our new tag, center. And then we're going to close off that tag after everything. So, whoops, 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 <laughs> center. <laughs> and there we have it. Everything should be centered. Yay! Yay! It's so beautiful! So beautiful! Lovely. Okay, so yeah. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Still going over really basic stuff, but don't worry. We will get to the more complex stuff, and I will start going over important things like how to lay out, make layouts and stuff. And yeah. See you guys later!